Hi everyone, I'm Becky. And I'm Sarah. And we're doing bickering book reviews. Today we are talking about Girl Unframed by Deb Coletti, which I got off of Edelweiss. Okay. So this book is about Sydney Riley. And Sydney Riley is the only daughter of Lila Shore, who's like a very big she used to be a big star. She's like and she was like a big star for being a femme fatale. I think it's supposed to be kind of almost like a Sharon Stone reference. And so Riley lives in Seattle, where her grandmother lives, and she attends this boarding school. And for the summer, she has to go stay with Lila. And so she has to go live in this big house in San Francisco with Lila. Well, when she gets there, she realizes that her mom now lives with this guy named Jake, who may be kind of shifty. He's supposed to be in real estate and an art dealer, but it might also be like a little bit of like some black market stuff. And so she's being pulled into this world where she doesn't really like any, like what's going on. She meets this boy named Nico, who's super nice, and she gets the feels, and he has the feels. And she just knows that something's going to happen this summer. And it's also the summer that she's really started to kind of like a grown up and all these men are interacting with her differently and she's experiencing things. And it's basically just about what's going on with her mother and how that impacts her life and her relationship with Nico and her basically dealing with her sexuality and the fact that she looks like a woman, even though she still kind of feels like a girl. Well, and even um, the kind of role that women take in our society kind of as objects and well that was a lot because that was actually one of the parts that I liked about the book um well, it was an interesting of, part of the book I there's agree. a lot of exploration about well there's like there's like Jake is not really like is kind of a stepfather and he feels like he owns her and then the guy next who's working on the house next door is basically coveting her body and she goes she walks down the street and people are staring at her making comments. This felt to me, it felt like, um, that TV show or like mini series, um, big little lies with, uh, Nicole Kidman and Reese Witherspoon and Shailene Woodley. It like felt like the teen version of that. I did not watch that. So I do not know. That show was awesome. I, I don't, I mean, this was the teen version of that. I, I don't know. I struggled with this book. It was really hard for me to engage with it um, because I felt like I never really got to know or care about the characters. Um, and it felt because it felt like the, the, um, the narrator was kind of talking at me as opposed to like us experiencing the plot together. I feel like I'm looking at it like academically, like what, like if I were to read this for a class, I would see more in it because like it feels, the narrative to me feels very much like, um, like one of those old movies from the fifties, like the postman always rings twice or double indemnity where things are slowly unraveling. And I think these ideas about like, her finding her place and the way men interact with her and those things are really great. But I did not connect with Sydney at any point either. And I never like had that desire to keep reading. Like once I picked it up, I would read, but like I never wanted to pick it up. So when actually you, you did bring up a good point. Like, yeah, it felt way more academic than um, kind of leisure reading, I guess. Right. Like, I think if you are like breaking down if you are like breaking down the story, um, then there is a lot to talk about. But, but I think that just comes back to like she wanted to write an essay about the role of women in society, and that would have worked better than just a full fledged book that didn't really kind of have a plot. Well, I feel like when I was studied when I did my women's studies minor, I feel like this is one of those books that we would have read and written a paper on. I also feel like she definitely was going for this specific style and because of the style, it lost some of the substance. Like I think if she had told the story in a different way, there would have been more substance to Sydney and her story. I can agree with that. Um, the other thing that really kind of was difficult for me is I, I really don't care for when authors kind of rely on this vague 
thing that happened that they're constantly alluding to at the beginning of every single chapter and it takes them just forever to get to it it's like i'd almost rather you lay it all out from the beginning and do flashbacks or something i don't even care but like because you're constantly alluding to like you already know about the knife and you already know about this like it just it becomes frustrating after a while it doesn't and bother me but that again that's a style over substance thing and, and i think it doesn't I, and bother I, me it just left a lot to be desired i feel like i may have like issues with the her past the style of her past two books because i feel like i talked about a lot of the same issues in a heart and the body in a world which i loved a heart and the body in the world because i connected with that main character and i never connected with sydney well i just remember that book also kind of leaned on this vague notion throughout the whole story and i get that there was a point to it just like there's a point to what she includes in this book which further kind of lends itself to being academic but like as a leisure read it irk is irksome we should read it okay the rating system starts at the top with five unicorns and we're down to two unicorns if we did not like it it's a horse I'm between a two and a three. Like, I personally didn't like it, but when you bring up the academic level of it, like, I see its merit. So I feel like I almost have to give it a three because academically, I mean, it's, it's rich. Like, you could certainly use this in a classroom. And that's, I'm at a three, too. Honestly, I think it could have easily been a four if I actually cared about Sydney, but I never did. But I, I did kind of like the style of it. I just would have liked more development, I guess. So that is where we are on Girl Unframed. I almost had a heart in the body in the world. That's a different book. And we'll see you around. All right, bye. Bye.